So we're going to talk about sources of radioactive isotopes and half-life, the concept of the rate of decay of radioisotopes. Now the type of decay matters, whether it's alpha, beta, or gamma, when it comes to biological effects. Alpha does the most damage to the tissue, but it has less penetrating power. So if the source is outside the body, you can normally protect yourself with protective clothing, but if the source is ingested, or inhaled inside the body, it can be very bad because um, tissue damage will occur. Beta it has intermediate penetrating power, um, but it, it can penetrate a few millimeters um, through skin, or a few millimeters, which could get it down into the skin. So if it's um, inside your body, it can do damage, and if it's outside your body as well. Um, and gamma radiation has got the greatest penetrating power, um, so much so that it can go right through your skin and your bones, and it could pass straight through you, or if targeted um, to a certain part of your body, um, it can uh, cause serious tissue damage to the point where it can uh, it's used to actually kill um, cancer cells by destroying them. All right, so there's something about the penetrating power and whether or not the isotope that you're exposed to gives off alpha, beta, or gamma radiation. And the other um, factor that affects the um, biological effect is the rate of decay.